this situation could turn dangerous. While drivers are focused on something in the foreground, they can only perceive events that occur in the background as a confused jumble of images. Until recently, no one could explain how the brain creates this blur effect. But now, Alexander Borst, a researcher at the Max Planck Institute, has solved the riddle with the help of the lowly blue bottle fly. Blue bottles are extremely good at detecting movement. These insects are hard to catch, so the scientists in Borst's research team raise them in large numbers. The experiments here have shown that blue bottles also experience the blur effect. The effect does not arise in the eye. It occurs in the brain, in a specific cluster of nerve cells. First, the scientists used carbon dioxide to anesthetize the insect. While it's motionless, the blue bottle is glued on its back to a glass plate. Before long, the fly returns to consciousness. The setup allows the researchers to examine the living fly's brain and how it reacts to visual stimuli. A surprising discovery was that specialized neurons in the insect's brain appear to be nearly identical to those in humans. The advantage of studying the brains of flies in our experiments is that they contain a lot fewer nerve cells than those of humans or other highly developed vertebrates. To put a number on it, flies have only around 100,000 nerve cells in their brains, while the number of nerve cells in our brains is around 10 to the 12th power. That's about a trillion nerve cells. Flies' brains are just easier to analyze. The researchers use micro-manipulators to place electrodes in the fly's brain. The team here was the first to show that when a fly sees a moving image, it causes three specific cells to fire, one after the other. This apparatus, called an oscilloscope, creates a picture of how the nerve cells fire. Different kinds of movements create different discharge patterns in the fly's brain, and the scientists can hear them. But can the images that a blue bottle fly sees with its compartmentalized eyes be compared to our concept of a visual image? It's a widely believed myth that flies only perceive rough visual images of their environment, while we see a continuous flowing picture. But our spatial resolution is also limited by the photoreceptors in the retina. The resolution is simply much higher for us than it is for the fly. That's the only difference. It just means the fly sees broader structures where we can see finer details. If I hold up a newspaper, the fly sees a gray image. It wouldn't see the letters. With a simple experiment, the researchers have shown that blue bottle flies also experience the blur effect. The cells that bring this screwdriver into focus in the foreground fire every time it moves. At the same time, the activity of cells responsible for perceiving background objects diminishes. The sound from the oscilloscope becomes irregular. Fluorescent light shows that the neurons create a network finer than the most advanced computer networks. When I was a student, I was most interested in combining the fields of computer science, mathematics and neurobiology. That meant brain research. Back then, I used to think of the brain as this ingenious parallel computer. Now, whether or not that analogy is an accurate one is another question. But that's how I thought of it, and I was completely fascinated. But it is still not known whether humans have the same network of nerves that Borst discovered in the blue bottle flies. But the research has already been helpful in developing new computer chips. Using a sensory system that's broadly based on the pattern in the blue bottle's brain, this test car practically drives itself. Radar and cameras constantly feed an onboard computer with information about the surrounding cars. And it brakes or accelerates accordingly. The computer's calculations artificially mimic the blur effect. 
It perceives the environment as a series of moving objects with varying degrees of importance. At the moment, the prototype is only able to keep up at slow speeds. But who knows? One day we might all be chauffeured around by smart computers that are based on the brain of a fly.